Uh, greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a demonstration of a, an experiment called Weird Cuts from Google Arts and Culture. And what we have here is my yoga mat. And I'm going to drag one of these objects. And I put it right in the middle. And you can see as I touch the screen, I get more strange cuts added. <clears throat> And you can see that they're floating in space over here. I have another one there. I have a different one over here. A different one over here. And let's see how it handles different spaces. So that is in that dimension, and that is in the other dimension. Let's try again. You can see it from the back. And now, so it seems to take the angle at which you have posed the device and it remembers it. So let's point straight down here and we can move around it. And then if we go to the same level, yep, yeah, that's exactly what happens. It remembers the level at which you place it. So I've got, I'm basically at a 45 degree angle now. And there it is at 45 degrees and I come around and there it is at 45 degrees. Um, <clears throat> see if it remembers proximity. Let's put a couple on there. And now let's see. It looks like it remembers proximity. Let's go down and take a look. Yes, it does. It remembers the uh, relative distance to the other objects. So let's go and add some more objects. And let's t t come back and take a look. All right, and there's, with this particular app, there's no shadowing, but it does remember the angle. So we take a look at this one, and you can see there are multiple angles. All right, and let's take a look. There should be some other objects in space around here. Ah, there they are. Um, and you can spin. And you can add multiples so you could create your own little garden space if you wanted which could be very handy if you are a designer um, if you wanted to for example create your garden space and now I've got I've got my own very own tree space and it supports two objects at the same time so let's try three it supports three objects about four four objects as well and now I've got my own little forest in my living room So of course, if you wanted to do fish or something, you could have your own aquarium. And there it is. I've just created a, a very leafy environment. Now if I had, if I connect this to my VR goggles, or um, actually that's then obviously the next thing is to put this on my head so I can see it. But there it is. I've just created my own little garden space. That's kind of fun. Let's back out a little bit so we can see it. Yeah. Yeah. So I can look out over over the many leaves in my living room space and have uh, have a little garden, have a little forest. Thanks for watching. This was fun. <laughs> um, it was a lot of fun, actually. Thank you again, and happy computing.